Alright, uh, what I'm going to do today is uh, pull some bullets with the kinetic puller for the 50 BMG and the 338 Lapua. I'm going to give it a whirl and uh, we'll see what happens here. So this is just an RCBS bullet puller I use for all my other bullets. And uh, let's try the 338 first. Uh oh. Huh. Doesn't fit inside. What about this 50 cal? Nope. Hmm. Now this video is going to be pretty useless if I don't show you how to pull them with a kinetic puller. So I'm going to, but not this one. Um, everything for a 50 is bigger, and I decided there's no reason a kinetic puller shouldn't work for it if I upsized it a little. So what I've done is basically just stole the idea of the other one, um, used a bit of tube and a little ingenuity to make a puller. Now I don't really recommend it because you can get explosive tip, I think, or, or armor piercing incendiary bullets that uh, they might not like this too much. I put a little piece of rubber in the bottom. I also know all my bullets that I'm pulling are just ball. They just got to steal the core. Um, if you don't know, I wouldn't do it. Uh, between just you and me, I have pulled some APIs in it, and it was fine, but I don't recommend it. And I was pretty nervous when I was doing it, so, uh, you know, I just think about it. That bullet's going to fly down and hit the bottom of this. So, basically, you got to uh, use your brain there and not kill yourself. But anyways, uh, it's a little stiff. I painted it, of course, for you. Um, basically, all I did is I took some tubing. Uh, this is just hollow, it's about 7 inches long, welded a cap on it, and uh, it's just hollow. Um, this piece just has the same ID as the OD of the main tube. Uh, it slides on, this is to tighten the cap on, so it won't come off when you're pulling. And then I just welded on another ring of this same tube, so I have, a, I have an area in here something can sit. So you need to call it. Um, actually, I made a few things here, I'll show you. Um, depriming, I, I like to do as a separate step, especially for 50 if they're crimped in and they're a bitch to get out. So this is just an eighth inch punch for the 50 and I made a base for it, uh, big enough for the primers to come out but just the right size of the casing. And without the bullet in there, this will just go inside and punch that primer out. I'm not going to show you that today, I don't have any cases with dead primers in them. The reason I have to pull a lot of 50 cases is I bought these already loaded. Um, they're reloaded though, so I'm going to check a bunch of the charges. And the guy didn't seat a bunch of the primers all the way in, so I'm going to pull all the bullet and powder and seat these primers in deeper. Just it, I'm compressing the primer a little with a bolt of my gun, and I don't like that with a 50 cal sitting there. This is just a standard um, 30 cal decapper, and I just made a a little base to fit the 338s better. Um, it's 338 Lapua, by the way. So these bases, they just come in handy for decapping. Um, you know, that 50s military crimp can be quite hard. So call it. This thing would be pretty useless without something to fit around the end of these. Um, I used a nut to make my 50 cal call it and just a bit of tube to make my 338 call it. And uh, basically, that was the hardest part. I'm going to show you these. Maybe we'll get a casing and come behind, make sure you can see it. So there's your casing, right? You've got your groove. Well, I just uh, turned out the center of these n bigger nuts to the same OD as the thing, uh, or as the shell, and left a ridge around the top. And I had a lot of fiddling with the grinder. But as you can see, they fit on there just perfect. And of course, the OD of this setup is the same as the ID of the cap. So I'll show you. See how it fits around there? Bolt's not moving anywhere. Same with the 338. It's just a different material I use. But anyways, you got your collet on there. Slide it in. Fits perfect. This cap fits super snug around there. There's no play in there. I can tighten it down. Um, the downfall to this, there's no window. Um, you have to listen or feel for the bullet falling out. 50s, it's a lot easier. It's a 650 plus grain bullet. Um, you can feel it generally when it comes out. So we'll see here. Now this is a crimp bullet too, so uh, you'll see how... There you can hear it. She fell out. 
So a couple good hits, it does dent up your concrete. I'm just in uh, an unfinished part of my basement, I don't care. I might cut a steel plate and put down, it'll just be noisier, but uh, you definitely hit it on hard stuff. I was trying to hit it on the carpeted part and she wasn't pulling too good. So I'll shake it, make sure I got all my powder out. Um, no marks on the shell, looks brand new. So I'll set that aside and uh, what I do to get the bullet and powder out is I'll just do that to get the bullet out. So we've got our bullet pulled there and then I'll just pour out the rest of the powder and I'll normally shake that a little, make sure I've got it all out, do that and that extra comes out. Uh, there's no crooks in, or no little places for it to hide in there. I've been checking the guys' charges here. They've all been about 240 grains. This is uh, 8 Hodgson BMG 50 powder. Um, so I'll uh, zero that. Pour this powder out somewhere. Oh, I've got a uh, BMG 50 container here too. Handy. I've just been emptying his powder out of the shells I've unloaded because they haven't been that consistent, not as consistent as uh, I'll do it. And uh, put this back on there. So yeah, minus uh, 239.5, so you had 239 and a half grains of powder in there. That was a fairly accurate charge mark. Um, anyways, I've got a 338 Lapu around here. That, uh, of course I load these, so I'm just going to pull an empty one. I don't crimp them. I'm going to pull just an empty one, it doesn't even have a primer in it, just to show you how it works the same. Got the same idea with the collets. Um, I have found a variance in the brass. Uh, Norma brass is a little smaller, a little ID of the ejector groove there, and the lapu is a little wider, so I just made my collets fit both. Um, it's, not, it's not any different than pulling it for the 50 here. In here, I think it came out there. Um, see, no, that that's the downfall of this design. Uh, the 338 with that lighter bullet, it's a lot harder to tell when the bullets come out. I don't really expect to pull too many 338s. It was more I was making this for the 50. And the 338. Oh, that was in there pretty good. The 338. Um, the 338s did not fit in my other kinetic colors, but if I needed to, it's coming out just slowly. I don't know why that's in there so good. I don't crimp those. And that's held in better than the crimp 50 cal. Just better neck tension, I guess. There. You can hear it, I guess, when it comes out. Um, so if you're a little more patient not doing the video, you'd probably do it better. There's no powder in this one, so you can see it pulls it. It pulls it just the same. No damage to your shell. Uh, you know, there's no marks or nothing there. So, it's a good way to pull bullets. Um, if you know you're not dealing with explosive tip or incendiary tip, um, this was made uh, probably in an hour um, in my shop with nothing more than a bench grinder, a hand grinder, and a drill press. Those are the only tools used, and a vice, of course. But it was uh, more fine-tuning. To cut these collets in half, to cut this one in half, this was originally the same piece too. I just used a hacksaw and same with the uh, the nut here. I just used a hacksaw to cut these in half. And uh, it, it seems to work great. It'll take you a bit of fiddling to get this groove just the right width to fit in all your shells. Try a few different shells and uh, just make sure the this is long enough for the bullet to exit the shell completely and make it sturdy, a sturdy base on it because you're putting some good swings into those. Anyways, there's a kinetic bullet puller for a 50 cal uh, modified for 338 Lapua. Not very complicated idea. Be safe, uh, think about what you're doing and don't hurt yourself.